Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Shop My Stash. You guys asked, where did your Shop My Stash go, Alice? I have hair on my face. Um, because it had been a little bit that I hadn't done these and that was because I was testing items for my declutter. So, um, especially for palettes um, and eyeshadows, I had this maybe purgatory pile that I reckoned with uh, recently in a video if you haven't seen that one I'll link it in the cards and in the description box but um, yeah so I, I wasn't gonna pull new stuff through uh, to test because I was testing those and I had to decide what to do with them if I was gonna keep them or not and uh, so that lasted I think all December I was testing and uh, January so I didn't have a show my stash for at least two months I guess but you guys were missing it and I'm super happy because I love doing it. So this month I'm gonna turn you around, d dive into my drawers again. If you want a refresher, I did a makeup beauty room tour recently so you can see where we're actually going to dive into my drawers um, and uh, that video will also be linked. Then this shop my stash is special because my friend Julia from Glitters for Breakfast on Instagram, she picked the items this month or it was a consultation but she picked the items. I just realized that my hands are stained. I spent the weekend um, swatching the new Makeup Geek rebranded eyeshadow so my hands are now stained. Anyways, um, Julia picked my items this month. A few of them are new things. A few of them are already seen and um, just things that I want to pick back out. And it will be a bit of a spoiler alert for my uh, haul, I guess. But without further ado, I am excited to start using these products. So I want to get this video out so that I can start using the products. Let's do my February shop, my stash. Here we are, let's start from the top. Since uh, my lashes on my stash, these things were a little bit rearranged because since the declutter, I managed to put most of my highlighters and blushes here. However, I realized that I'm often reaching for the same stuff. So what I'm gonna do is take these out. These are all highlighter blushes and here I have bronzers and face palettes. I'm gonna take these out and try to put in here the things that are gonna be part of my shop, my stash, just like it used to be previously. Right here I have my um, mascaras and I don't know, brow gel. This is all part also of my project pan. No trouble there. Right here I have my two um, powders that are in my project pan. I am keeping here most of my powders, so I'm just gonna leave them right here. They're easy to get to, and anyways, I use these powders the most. For bronzer, I am uh, going to uh, use the Shady Biz um, bronzer by Fenty. Julia picked this for me. I love this um, bronzer, so I'm happy to use it. Definitely a good choice. Then she gifted me this um, blush right here, which is one of the Skin Glazing by Nabla in the color Truth. It's what I'm wearing today on the cheeks and oh my God, you guys, it's like magic. It's glorious and uh, since she gifted to me, she wants me to use it this month and we're gonna do that. For highlighters, um, she told me to use the Pixie by Petra ones and I have two here. I think I'm gonna pick the cooler toned of the two, let's say, because I use this the least. It has also the least of a whole. Oh, sorry, I was blinding you. Maybe if I do this, it's a bit better. This is Subtle Sunrise and I use this a lot. And then this one here is called Delicate Dew. I will take out Delicate Dew because it's the one that I use the least. Another blush from uh, uh, Nabla that I want to use more is Adults Only. This is the darker version of uh, the um, yeah of uh, the skin glazing blushes. I want to use this one more, so we're gonna put it in here as well. Then uh, I have uh, this blush from Ofra. It's in the shade Format. This was a gift from another friend who is more cool toned than me, and she wasn't gonna use this really, so I um. Yeah, gonna use it this month to try to see if I like it. It's a beautiful, I don't know, 
it's a terracotta shade it's beautiful it has a little bit of a sheen I think I'm gonna like it um, I know I'm gonna like it because I've used it before but I don't use it much so those are gonna be my blushes and I feel like here it's still very empty so I'm gonna put back my um, Jouer and my hourglass face palettes I think it's okay that they live oh goodness that they live there and this is gonna be interesting to make everything else fit. I am going to add in here the uh, three Natasha Denona palettes, but these are just gonna be in storage, so I, I just don't know where to put them. I guess I'm gonna keep them here. What I'm going to use more of is the uh, Natasha Denona Mini Glam. This is new uh, at Sephora and I got my hands on it, so I wanna test it. You're gonna see a review coming up soon of it as well. And I want it there. Then going on for eyes, I'm going to be using this guy right here. And this is spoiler for my haul maybe, but this is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I've already used it a few times. I'm wearing it today and I am going to be using it this month. I think for face that's all and it leaves quite a little bit of space. I am going to refill it with stuff before we continue with the next drawer. Down here at this point I only have the items that didn't fit uh, further up and I'm just gonna keep them here. Um, that's also why I'm doing this shop my stash again because not everything fits in the top drawer so I still have things that I'm not gonna reach for if I don't see them. But you can see that this is so much emptier since the declutter. I'm so happy with it. I still need to find a good balance because ideally I have everything in one place. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. Let's move on to the palette drawer. From here, because I already have the Natasha Denona, um, what is it called, Metropolis palette and the Mini Glam to try, I want to pull out only one palette and it is the Colored Rain Safari Rain because I, I, am, I, I am feeling like giving it away, so I want to use it uh, instead. Um, I want to use it, I want to fall in love with it again, I want to make sure that it's still relevant and new to my collection and that these shimmers are still worth keeping it. Because, to be honest, let me see if I can fit this here. I kind of thought in my head that there were a few overlaps here. Um, both in storylines with these greens as well as like the dark more cool toned shades and the uh, more coppery reds. I kind of feel there's a bit of a repeat and I'm not sure I want to keep both. So this is now a little bit of a gray area. I'm going to be using both and deciding a little bit what to do with this guy mainly because it's a gorgeous palette and I feel like it's a pity that I don't use it enough. So yeah, that is gonna be that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be using these for my eyes. Other eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using are my new Makeup Geek rebranded eyeshadows. These you've seen in my uh, most recent video where I swatch and review these new shadows and I compare them with all my gigantic, uh, more current collection that I have. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check out in the cards and in the description box the links. These I'm definitely going to be using and keep reviewing and do looks with it for Instagram. So these are going to also be around. Then we move up here a little bit because Julia gave me assignments and she told me what to use. And from here she told me she wants me to use this ColourPop eyeshadow right here. It's in the shade Moonwalk and it's new, untouched. Um, and uh, it, she says it fits very, very well with the Metropolis palette. She has it as well. So this is something I am going to start using. And same is with this ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadow in the, say, in the shade Origami. Yeah. And it's this beautiful gold that you see right here. Lovely eyeshadow. I know I love it. And she says you ha I have to use it this month. So I am going to be throwing this with these two right here.
Then for lipstick, um, as you can see, all of my liquid lipsticks fit in this 40, let me turn it around maybe, ta-da, in this organizer. So I'm actually really happy with this. Um, I can see and reach for all of my liquid lipsticks and it really, really helps. But I want to wear more and test more new um, things. So one is this little Fenty underdog. I don't need to test it, I just want to wear it more because it's winter and if I don't wear it now then it's gonna sit in my collection all spring and summer because I know myself I don't wear these colors in spring and summer. So I want to wear this and what I want to test is this guy right here which is Le Chocolat by L'Oreal and it's in the shade up here, Cacao Crush 868 and it actually looks quite similar doesn't it? But it's another dark one that I want to use because otherwise I'm not gonna use um, I'm not gonna use it later on in the year and I think that for that uh, for the shop my stash I'm only gonna pull out these two because um, I am pretty sure I'm gonna be able to just look at this and decide to use more of it so I'm not worried about not using my lipstick collection for this month let's see how it goes let's see if I'm uh, missing out on things or I should actually pull out uh, more stuff for my shop my stash and um, I am sure Julia will hate me when she sees this and she said she didn't have the time to tell me um, what lipsticks to wear this month but um, they're here I can always reach for them and that's okay so that was it for my shop my stash this month I have a lot of things to use still um, lots of eyeshadows um, lots of stuff in my drawer and a few lipsticks I can put this one back by now and yeah thank you so much for watching these are short and sweet now that I have less items in my collection and more focused but then I hope that I'll be able to yeah give you better um, reviews and stuff like that thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video